this is Scott from MidnightLightDecision.com. Today I do want to be giving you another heads up on the giveaway. Make sure that the one key given away from YouTube is gone, if you haven't already noticed that. The only keys that are still active are the one you can get from the Facebook page. Facebook page, uh, sharing it. If you share it with your friends, oh yeah, that'll be a big boost for you. Um, and then the last one is signing up to the site via registration. Um, I've made it a fairly simple process, and I actually want to show you the information that I gather from it. So that way, you guys aren't giving me anything that's private or something that it, I shouldn't know. You can sign up through Facebook, Yahoo, Google, or Twitter, or LinkedIn. I thought about adding Yammer, but then I realized who uses Yammer. I probably still could. It's built into a plugin, and it's fairly simple. You get your username, your email, your password, and confirm your password. Then you add your first name, your last name, your age, blah, 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 blah. Stuff like that. Fairly simple. All of these can be hidden from the public, meaning if you don't want someone to know your age, hide it. It will not show up on your profile. Or this or this. If all of these are hidden from the public, your username will automatically take over as your name. So if you do not wish people to see it, it will not be displayed. Your email address is also not shown to the public. The only thing that that will be in is back in the back end of the server where it's able to be monitored. So if you're doing something, I can find your email address that matches the username and remove you from the site and ban, there. ban the email. The description is just a little bit about yourself, about and a bio. It, it, it this this came from a membership site plugin that I got from it was users ultra and I kind of remodeled it changed it up a little bit and now it's actually used as a form of social media sign up through the website uh, if I get the pro version there will definitely be a lot more value to it but for ya yeah, all, all these services that one thing in common is that I do need an email so if you sign up with Twitter, I don't, I can't get, I don't think I can get the email through Twitter. It doesn't allow me to request it. So you may have a redirect notice to get the email. It's not like I'm going to spam you. In fact, the only way that you even get signed up for the newsletter or the RSS is if you go to the subscribe boxes. By doing so, you will not be subscribed to anything, and I will do nothing with your email address because, um, that would just be more work to try and find something to do with it. And I honestly do not care. I, I, I don't even know how what I could do with your email. Well, I guess there aren't those people who sale, sell mailing lists where they like, yeah, those things are annoying. You, you, you ever get added to one of those? Yeah, I've been added to quite a few of them. I don't even know how. But I've been added to quite a few of them. And um, I do not appreciate it. Mm-mm. So signing up through here is going to really get you in the raffle. Keep in mind when you sign up, your information is published to no one. Your information can be hidden from the public. A description, a quick description, it doesn't even have to be about you. This is your about bio. You can hide everything personal. Your pay, your, you don't even have to do this. You can just hide this from the public, hide it from the public, hide it from the public. Website, you can hide it from the public. You can literally hide everything. And it's great because you don't have to show anything to the public. And I don't and I'm not gonna do anything with it. And I can't really prove that I won't do anything with it, but I guess I could kind of show you the administration dashboard. Yeah, we can do that. New window. Okay. We're going to go to my admin administration dashboard real quick. The admin dashboard will kind of show you guys what day-to-day -day functions go. No one signs up for my newsletter. What's wrong with you guys? I feel so abandoned. Uh, I have two active users, and one of them is my dummy email to make sure that it actually worked. And see the page cache. I use a lot of plugins. WordPress. WordPress comes with a lot of plugins. A lot of them are used. But um, users ultra is the plugin, and I want to show you what the user's information will look like. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that because people can still sign up. I can't show you guys that because I already have some friends that signed up. Well, 
simply, simply put, <laughs> uh, I wish I could have shown that would have been so much smarter. It comes into a chart, and it gives me the username and like the email when they register and stuff like that. And if there's thousands of users, I don't know of any way to actually like pull all of them. So like if when you register, it just goes into this chart. That's about it. It just goes there. And you're all probably wondering, why do I have that picture right there with me? Okay. I have not updated my Facebook profile picture in like two years. I am not good with taking pictures. Mm -mm. No. Not at all. I hate taking pictures. That's why it's not updated. And then, of course, I use the same image on every social network that I have. And then I use it on my site, too. And it's a really bad picture. And you know what? It sucks. Moving on. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to need help. But, um, yes, register to the site. You'll get into that raffle. I thought about doing one in the comments. But I'm actually, now that I got that social login system, I think you're all capable of signing up through this. If you go to a social, okay. Biggest, 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 biggest misconception is when you sign in through a site with social media that we get the social media account info. Mm -mm. What happens is when you go to the site, it uses something called OAuth 2, which is uh, OAuth authorization. And it uses a call to the Facebook server. It gives, Then it goes to my server. My server says, okay, these are valid credentials from Facebook. I don't know what it is because it's encrypted from Facebook and they gave me a temporary key to allow me to say, okay, you're in. Or when you, and then the profile stuff such as the email, so let's just say it takes the email. Takes the email. And then goes, it, when, then when you try to sign into the site, the call comes back and says, oh, this email's already been here. This email's already here. You're already registered and it moves you to the sign in. I don't have any access to the Facebook profiles. There's no feasible way for me to do that. If you know anything about the developer APIs, there's nothing you can do to get the authorization to log in with that. It just doesn't work. But yes, I will never steal your emails or put them anywhere. In fact, in the terms of use, it explicitly says I would not do that. And if I did, I could actually get, there's actually legal per repercussions for doing something like that. Of course, with your emails being in through the registration, I can also ask, oh, well, since you registered, would you like me to add your email to it? Or any time that you ask and shoot me an email and say, like, hey, could you add me to the newsletter? And then I'm like, yeah, I mean, it'd be easier for you to register at the bottom, but sure, why not? I'll do it. But, uh, yes, thank you very much for watching, and make sure to uh, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thank you very much, and good night.